in one of our webcasts. The topic will be Mastering Database Performance with Logica and ISUG. Uh, we've got Jigging today, and we'll be identifying some of the most challenging issues in database performance and the things you guys need to do to mitigate them. I'm Dan Goitin, Director of Business Development for MCA. As we'll be having Jeff Garbus speaking, we've got Cindy Bean from ISUG here as well. And on Jeff, Jeff is our VP of Arctur. I'm sorry. Jeff, Jeff has many years' experience in architecture with two administrative side base ASC. Jeff has written multiple books, SQL Server, and ASC databases. Next slide, please. Coming events, be on the lookout for our Power Builder What's Next event. We're also in March making sense of predictive models, and we'll have some other tips and tricks seminars in April, extracting and utilizing web data, and tips and tricks to grid computing. So be on the lookout for those. And as always, you can join our LinkedIn DBA group as well for more information, or check www.mlogica.com. We have an exciting offer we're going today with a presentation. For all of you attendees, Logica is going to be offering a no-cost Notice complimentary database performance health check. That you will have one of our DBAs take a look at your system, take a look at your durations, and provide a report back what we found. So that one of them Logica's representatives will be contacting you for this great offer. Yes, and this is Cindy Bean from ISUG. Um, ISUG and MLogica are are happy to host these uh, webinars. We've been doing them on a monthly basis uh, on base tips and tricks. And we're going to be continuing to do these with MLogica, who's one of our uh, ISO partners, a, a leading database consulting firm, and specialize on the, some of our Sybase technologies. So we, we use um, different speakers on these webcasts, although we've had Jeff present several times. And we try to get some of the best known technology speakers that we can on Sybase. Um, that have written books, but most of the time the professionals are very well known in our Sybase uh, community. Some of the topics we have planned uh, for some of the future webinars, we're going to do a session on data masking, um, enterprise data integration, and then do a session on Power Builder and .NET and Java. So soon. Thank you, Cindy. And just give everyone a brief overview of today's agenda. We're doing a quick, very quick company overview of agenda. We're really going to, for the meat of it, jump into our Mastering Database Performance section. We will have time for questions and answers at the end. I'll view again our offer for a complimentary performance health check. Sorry, you. For those of you who don't know, MLogica is a high end consulting company. Uh, we've got solutions, memory databases, advanced analytics, performance monitoring. Uh, mobile solutions, our services, goes data management, business intelligence, application development, project management, IT staffing, and we've got many delivery models as well using database applications, on-demand cloud computing, consulting, application, of course, managed services as well. So I'd like to turn it over to Jeff Garbus, who's going to tell you a little about mastering performance base. Thank you, Dan. Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, I'm talking about database performance. The idea here is that very frequently you'll end up getting telephone calls from end users who say things are slow. And when they do that, it's sort of hard to quantify things. Uh, you really don't know if it's slower than it was yesterday, if the user's been drinking too much coffee, if when the application is slowing down, there are other things going on in the server. And frequently, they don't call when things are slowing down. They call uh, in the afternoon and say, uh, hey, things are slow this morning. Can you figure it out? Or worse, they call you on Monday morning and they say, hey, things are slow on Saturday. Can you stay this coming Saturday and make sure it doesn't happen again? The past, our management has been very reactive. Uh, and by reactive, I mean they complain about a problem, and then you go and figure out what it was, and you put sort of a solution in gives us the ability to respond to the trouble, not avoid it. 
Visibility is largely restricted to watching the server and then understanding what the database is doing rather than how it's directly affecting the application users. The idea behind performance intelligence is that we're going to come up with an approach to being a little bit more predictive and proactive about tuning. So rather than waiting for the users to call us and say, hey, things are slow, and then maybe looking at an SP Sysmon uh, output for the time period, what we'll be able to do is get some really detailed information about what was happening. So if a user calls and says, hey, this took 10 seconds instead of one, you really want to know if it's because a query plan changed, because they were being blocked, because the I.O. channels were <coughs> low, because they were really bringing back 3 million rows of data instead of 3. A lot of crazy things can happen. So PI performance intelligence is our way of applying the business intelligence principles to data performance measurement. So why should the, only the business users get the data warehouse? We're going to have one so that we can figure out what people are doing or when. Rather than have a, a system health monitor, a heartbeat monitor, what we're doing is focusing on uh, sampling all the information that's going on, and from that perspective, focusing on application wait time. Now, application wait time is a combination of your entire end user experience. So if somebody calls and says, hey, I had 10 seconds to get my query back, it really does matter. Is that 10 seconds of CPU? Is it 10 seconds of I.O.? 10, cents of 10 seconds of net wait? Because as you're trying to identify what the bottlenecks are, you need to figure out what's going on here. What uh, examples of too much time in the wrong place was we, we uh, I had a customer up in Boston. They had bought a third-party application. And to report on their third-party Go to webinar, events made easy. Now, I, I don't know for sure that somebody uh, put up a tweak in there, but it was bringing back 800,000 rows of data and displaying six. Now. Uh, you really don't have to be a performance expert to know that bringing back 800,000 rows of data when you need six is really not a good thing to do to your disk. It's not a good thing to do to your network. It's not a good thing to do to your CPUs. But you need to figure out that these things are going on. So figuring out what the application wait time is is sometimes the key to figuring out what your performance issue is. The key behind performance intelligence is to be able to quickly answer questions like, why is my database causing application users to wait? Wait, and what can we do about it? Now, in all honesty, what this is going to do is it's going to tell you what's causing it to wait. You're going to have to figure out how to improve it. Uh, the tool did not say, hey, Jeff, uh, what you need to do is only bring back six out of the 800,000 rows. That's something I had to figure out myself. Performance intelligence allows us to identify specific bottlenecks. So everybody's hitting the network right now, or everybody's using the CPU right now. Clear this out to a very granular level. <clears throat> and drilling down, if somebody says it was at around 9.30, I can go find out what the person was doing something at 9.32 and 3 seconds and find out what it was being blocked by and what the blocking process was running. The way this works is when you make a request, the request hits the SQL server. The SQL server does some processing and gets to identify what each of those wait types is. We might be waiting for a latch to be released. We might be waiting for a lock to be released. We might be waiting for an I.O. channel. And we're going to pick up the amounts of time that it takes to perform each of these tasks. Record that it's in our warehouse. The type of approach to analysis is actually practical because the monitoring techniques are relatively simple, the architecture is agentless, and we're using less than 1% of one CPU to get this information back. Basically querying the DMV tables and shared memory, bring the information back. Sorry, uh, Sybase version, MDA tables, not DMV tables. Uh, identify the wait types, specific steps, and process the queries. Yes, for those of you who are wondering, there is a SQL Server in the Oracle version of the same tool. Identify the most important problem query, quantify the impact of things like locking, blocking, uh, and expose the bottleneck. What we're going to be able to do is go in and ask the question, what's going on here? Who's doing it? What machine? If he's logged in as a web user, uh, what machines are the queries coming from? When is it happening? For the organization, the result is reduced cost of database operation and improved IT service. Uh, this is very good. Uh, if you look at some of the Gartner group studies, uh, what you find is that mean time resolution for performance issues 
it follows the, the typical 80-20 path, which is 8% identify what the problem is, and then 20% figure out how to solve it and roll it out. If you can eliminate that 80%, you get really responsive. Plus, if you're doing any proactive work, it's kind of cool to be working on a performance issue, have a user call and say, hey, I've got a problem, and to be able to say, yes, I actually know about that, and I'm working on it right now. Give me a few minutes, and I'll get back to you. So what this allows you to do are a variety of things. First, you can manage more servers if, in fact, you've got a tool to let you go in and identify what's going on. You can scale down the work on a server. I have multiple customers for whom we've put off hardware purchases because we've gone from 80 or 90% of CPU down to 5 or 10% of CPU. And yes, it's been that dramatic. It's kind of fun when you take a look at a query and you find that that query is, oh, percent of the system and nobody realized it was a problem. Why? Well, maybe it's running in, say, 1.2 seconds, and nobody's complaining about a 1.2 second query, but if it's running a thousand times a minute, well, guess what? That's going to start choking your system after a while. And for you to be able to go in and uh, tune that down to, oh, 2, 3, 5, 10 milliseconds, suddenly you get a lot of your box back. This also uh, improves migrations. Why does it improve migrations? Because it enables you to look at the results of the before and afters, it allows you to look at the 15 stuff in test and find out where the problems are. So it shortens your development cycle and your migration cycle. So different types of analysis technique. Uh, you as a DBA are typically accountable for application speed. People will call up and uh, a lot of people have these war rooms. And within the war room, nine people from nine different organizations show up, the users, uh, the network staff, the SAN staff, the database staff, the application staff, the UMIT, and 